Welcome everyone! In your software update page, you see iOS 18.7 and then at the bottom it says upgrade to iOS 26. And you're wondering, should I upgrade to iOS 26 or should I stay on iOS 18 and just upgrade to 18.7? So I have had iOS 26 on my iPhone 16 Pro for about a day now, but I've also had it on my iPhone 11 for about a day now and on my daily driver iPad. And so I have a pretty good idea of how this is gonna run. So after the update, the fresh iOS 26, the phone's gonna lag so badly. You're gonna have overheating problems. You're gonna have terrible battery life. And the reason why this happens is because the apps and the services, they've been optimized in the background. And that always happens when you go from one major iOS to another. So the initial experience, even on the 16 Pro, you're going to have lag everywhere. On the 11, you're going to have lag everywhere as well. However, the good news is, after three to four hours, iOS 26 runs extremely smoothly on even the iPhone 11, which is the oldest phone to support iOS 26. Now look, it's not you know lining fast on the iPhone 11, but it is running pretty smoothly way less lag than when you first got the update. And on the iPhone 16 Pro, you're gonna expect this to run perfectly fine. Now iOS 18.7 will not introduce any of the new features which you get in iOS 26. This is just a security update. And so if you want the new features, you're probably gonna to wanna to update to iOS 26 as well. So the first thing is 18.7 will not introduce that new liquid glass look. And if you want the app icons to have the liquid glass, just long press on the empty space of your home screen and just customize. And then we can go clear and then you get that liquid glass look. You can see on your uh, app icons as well. iOS 26 also introduces a bunch of other features like hold assist, which means you can use your phone while you're being hold. And then, you know, when the call resumes, you can go back in my face. And when I tilt the phone, you can see it has that 3D wallpaper effect. That's only in iOS 26. Let me look at this. When I screenshot my phone, I can just circle something and it's just going to immediately search it into Google. All these things that are on iOS 26 have not been added to 18.7. Think about everything you have on iOS 18.6.2 or the older iOS 18 software. It's not coming uh, to 18.7. So if you want the new updates, you want the new features, you want iOS 26. Now battery life. Remember when I first started the video, I did say it was quite terrible. But after a couple of hours, seriously, you will have better battery life than on iOS 18.7. It's a little bit surprising, but iOS 18, when it first came out, wasn't known to be the best software release ever. It was a little bit laggy, a little bit slow. And even though iOS 26 has this new design, the overall experience is a lot faster. Now, the one downside of iOS 26 is if you use your phone as a work phone, so you rely on your income coming from that phone or you know doing all these stuff, then I actually wouldn't recommend the update because this right here, this is my daily driver iPad. This is iPad Pro uh, M1. And after the update, Many of my apps and services that I used in iOS 18, they're just not working on iOS 26. So I, I can't really show the examples. Uh, I'll see if I can maybe try and show it. No, I can't show it. But the slider in iOS 26 has that liquid glass effect. And in my apps, some of the apps that I use for work, the slider doesn't work. So if I'm trying to you know, do photo editing, I literally can't edit the photo. It's kind of ridiculous. And... My apps, they're crashing constantly. It is not a good experience at all, but those are my work apps. Now, regular apps, if you're just doing calls, banking, they seem to be good to go. But if you are using your phone for work, I'd recommend just waiting a week. It's not even the software's fault, it's the app developers. They haven't updated the apps. And then once those apps have been updated, you see that new update in the app store, I'd recommend the update. So overall, this is worth it. iOS 26, very solid update. But if you use your devices for work, please just wait a week. 
don't make the same mistake I did where you can't use a slider, you, the app's crashing constantly. It makes my workflow so much worse, so much slower. But uh, yeah, I'd highly recommend the update. Let me know what you've done in the comment section. And real quick, YouTube don't promote my videos like they used to. So if you found this video useful, it really would mean, would mean the world to me if you hit that like button down below and just leave a comment with your experiences. Have a nice rest of your day. Bye-bye.